Whether you talk about content service providers whose business it is to provide content to end users, or whether you're talking about service providers whose business it is to carry uh, information from one place to the other. The super core absolutely benefits both these categories of people. The Convert Super Core marries MPLS switching, where you can get higher scale and higher density at better cost, and optical transmission into one architectural element. That's the secret sauce behind the PTX system. We had to start with a clean sheet of paper, and we had to start with looking across uh, silicon systems, and finally at the software. To get to scale and flexibility, you need to innovate in silicon. You need to take a blank sheet of paper and build a chipset. We have built the Express chipset specifically for the Converge Supercore. It's a device that's actually built to be able to handle that. So you're able to scale a lot quicker because you, you have less devices and what needs to be switched is switched. What needs to be routed, it's routed. When I talk to service providers today, they now have real urgency. The traffic is going faster than they expected. The mobile internet is taking off faster than they expected. Cloud computing is going faster than they expected. So it's a way to go in there and enhance or solve the problem with very little network disruption. And as we go through that architectural transition of going from three layers in the core to one, this will be the key building block. We've absolutely streamlined the packet processing down to the bare minimum that is necessary to construct a super core. You can now dynamically provision bandwidth and services across all layers in real time. The only way to do that is through software and automation. And these individual innovations are parts of the puzzle that in fact are going to transform the entire networking industry.